Hey guys, Jason here in another episode of Album Review Corner, and today it's a special edition. Today we're going to talk about the Sound City documentary by Dave Grohl. Uh, we just watched it. Um, you want to get a little background information? Oh, Sound City just gives all the history behind um, the Sound City recording studio in Los Angeles, uh, starting from the 70s up until 2012. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it it really does a nice job of giving the history. Like I said, it's directed by Dave Grohl. He kind of takes the initiative behind it. There is also the storyteller. Um, there's a lot of bands. A lot, I was amazed how many records and how many awesome records, such as Fleetwood Mac and Rumors was recorded there. Um, you've got a whole bunch. You wanna, do you remember anyone? Yeah, get... there was Nirvana, Nevermind, there oh, was of course. Pat Benatar, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers did a lot of their discography there. Um, let's see, a lot of 70s bands and a mm -hmm. lot of 80s, you know. Rick Springfield? Yeah, Rick Springfield did. Um, who else? Who am I, um, uh, I can't think of any more on top of, top of my head, but yeah. Buckingham and Nicks. Yeah, Stevie Nicks is pre... Lindsey Buckingham. Yeah, yeah. Li yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of them as well. Um, it was, it's, it's amazing in general. And then, of course, then it goes from that, it goes to the high points of the success to the 80s when it was more digital. And, you know, with the, um, I think they call it Pro Tools, if I believe that's what it was, where things kind of switch to the internet and it's... Um, electronic. You know, yeah, le over. electronic internet, whatever. Kind of talks about, you know, things being produced via the computer. Um, and how that affected Sound City and how it basically made it... Um, they, they filed for bankruptcy. Uh, not not necessarily... Not really, but it's, it seemed like. Yeah, it was dead for a while. And, and then, then uh, in the 90s... Um, th yeah. Well, continual movement, you were saying. The sorry. The 90s, they Nirvana. kind of... Nirvana. Nirvana came in and changed it all up. <laughs> um, you know... With, Reinvigorated the whole thing. Yeah. And, I mean... That's that's a huge part of a huge part of history. Nirvana, one of the best best grunge bands of all time. Dave Grohl, arguably one of the best drummers, best guitarists yeah, of all is. time, and best really front front man of Foo Fighters, of course. Now, um, yeah, and then that's and yeah, that's it. And then it talks about you know it kind of again it's struggling and it ultimately shut down. It was was again being rivaled by a whole bunch of digital. Um, you know, recording studios, as mentioned there with Keith, with Keith Olsen. Um, yeah, and then, of course, a couple, actually a couple years ago, when this documentary was made, so, was it Sound 10, or 606, I believe it was. 606 it, right? was Dave, Dave Grohl's studio, yeah. And he also, he got what's called the Neve board, or, sorry, Nerve board, I believe it was. It's Neve, yeah, you're right. Nerve, yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> that was actually the board that was used, and it, of course, has the all the dials and the and the all the things that, that you would use to produce music on analog and that and he of course got that board that board was in Sound City that's what made Sound City famous things were recorded on analog um, that's basically it and of course he got that he got that board and he made the Sound City documentary and soundtrack and, which and soundtrack. accompanies the whole thing and he for the soundtrack he reunited all the Sound City um, forefronters who made Sound City, fa Sound City famous mm -hmm. and uh, basically made a kick-ass album to to start the documentary promot promotions and all mm -hmm. that jazz. And uh, as you know, Paul McCartney was on there and uh, yeah, he did that. Uh, Cut me some slack, which was for the Sandy Relief, which they or which they performed for the Sandy Relief. Yeah, Hurricane Sandy. But it was for the Sound City documentary and soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, I mean overall, there's a, there was a lot. There's a lot of other things besides the Paul McCartney cut me some slack. That was yeah. that was your favorite part. That's my yeah. <laughs> um, overall, I, I would highly highly recommend this um, this documentary. It's one of my one of the best that I've seen. Um, yeah, it's, if you're a music fan of any any genre, really rock. Maybe a little bit of country. I don't. I don't know if you're into that stuff at all. Um, just rock, especially and grunge rock and alternative rock. You would definitely enjoy this. Yeah, a fan of rock music in general. I think it's important history to 
remember. Mm -hmm. So I think this this is important to pick up. So yeah. get it. Yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for this uh, this re this review. <laughs> yes. What word to say? Have a, have a nice day, everyone. Thank you for watching. Alrighty. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye.